with effect 2nd January 2024, the Central Bank will require domestic banks to limit and desist from imposing the following fees and charges. All banks must reduce or limit ATM withdrawal fees to a maximum of 25 cents per transaction. The banks have also committed to reviewing these fees over the next 12 months. This is sort of a transition period with the aim of reducing them further or applying thresholds based on the level of activity and type of customers in the system. Dormant account fees, typically most banks would charge for any account that is deemed dormant um, according to the domestic banks and financial institutions at and would char charge a range between 20 and 45 dollars in place you never do one transaction in the account on an annual basis that would come out account closure so let's say you open an account in a, um, one day and within that day to three months you decide for close it typically most banks walk away with 27 dollars or 30 dollars out of the account um, salary release cancellation when you have paid off your loan at a commercial bank and your salary used to go directly there to service that loan just to change that arrangement internally within the software or within the bank's operations you would have been charged maybe 15 to 30 dollars maintenance fees no if you just park your money at the bank on a monthly basis you might get a charge just for maintaining this electronic account on a monthly basis and that's between depending on the account one dollar to five dollars transfers within the same bank again i should say that none of these things are across the board some banks do it some banks don't so this doesn't target any bank this is targeting this is looking at the practices across the board within the financial system transfers within the same bank sometimes uh, you as a customer of bank would be charged for just transferring to another customer within that same bank waiver fees similarly um, if you ask for a lead break if your cash flow not a good power um, on a loan uh, and you ask for a lead break for a month you only get charged 20 50 dollars um, 20 to 20 dollars to 50 dollars just for that waiver early loan payout fees well uh, as a bank i don't want you to pay this thing out and of course um, it, it messes up their cash flow projections over the course of time or how they had planned out their portfolio but that payout interest would have been upfront that payout fee would have been sometimes between one to six months interest just to walk away from an early payout if you had the money so we're saying man restrict this to three months that's reasonable and that's all we're doing here we've also received a uh, verbal written commitment I call it an indicative commitment from the banks that they will also bring down what they charge customers for the instant funds transfer and also the elect electronic trans from funds transfer so those mobile transactions uh, digital transactions that you engage across the app system that used to be two dollars and above 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 that now um we have received a commitment also that banks are willing i, I shouldn't say commitment that banks would be willing to lower that to a dollar below a dollar now driving that is also the central that the central bank will um this is not uh, this is a fact that come the 1st of January that the central bank will no longer be taking 25 cents or 50 cents um, from those online charges we are putting that at zero so the central bank collects nothing further 
um, for electronic funds transfer, instant funds transfer. Why? Because we believe, as the evidence has shown, that it drives positive financial con inclusion and therefore enhances financial stability mandate.